What's up, friends? Zach Stevens joined by my guy, Henry Chisholm, coming to you after the Broncos' seventh practice of training camp. We've got three takeaways for you. Henry, number one. First of all, first practice without Tim Patrick. Uh, didn't see him out there, not surprised, obviously, since he's not able to practice with a torn ACL. But today's the first day that people are competing for that job, trying to trying to figure out who's actually gonna be on the field in his place. Uh, KJ got a little run with the ones. We'll talk about him a little bit more later. Seth Williams, though, he was the main beneficiary of the day. Uh, it was a jog through, so we didn't actually see anybody make any big plays. Nobody's stamping their mark on the position. But, you know, there's, there's a little bit of a hint at what could be to come in the next few days. KJ Hamler, takeaway number two. Great news for KJ. Not only was he taking team reps for the first time in this training camp, also no brace on that knee, which is great news. He was wearing it this earlier this week. No brace now, so that's fantastic news, especially as the Broncos hope to fill Tim Patrick's role. Ideally, with KJ Hamler, just have him step up right there. Absolutely. Final takeaway, a uh, bit of a rotation with the guards today. Now again, like they're separating guys out. There's one group on one field, one group on the other. And without any real football going on when they're just jogging around out there, you can't read too much into it. But it was a three-man rotation between the two guard spots. You have Dalton Reisner, you have Natani Moody, you have Quinn Miners. Who knows who's going to get those jobs? It does seem like Moody might be in third place as of right now, but Today they're all rotating, so who's to say? He's still in the race and we are halfway through camp. We got seven more practices, one tomorrow, which is supposed to be big, so stay tuned to everything for tomorrow. See ya.